a very good morning to all the viewers. Uh, myself, Dr. Rajesh Singh, Associate Professor, Parul Institute of Law, Parul University. I warm welcome uh, uh, Mrs. Satvinder Kaur, Madam. Uh, so first of all, I will just give a, a brief introduction about ma'am. I'm just presenting my slide. Just a minute. Jitin sir, it is now visible to you. Yeah. So the, the topic of the, uh, of the webinar is the webinar on the contours and trends of the fashion law. So this is the first time we have taken this topic uh, and uh, one of the important guests for today, uh, Mrs. Uh, Satvinder Kaur Madam is going to elaborate and our Dean Sir is there with us. So first of all, in, uh, I will just give an introduction about uh, Satvinder Kaur Madam. Mrs. Satvinder Kaur Madam is a Goodwill University of the United Nations University for the Global Peace and has won title of Mrs. India 2019, Mrs. India Georgius 2019, Mrs. India Sporty Attitude 2018, Mrs. India Extraordinary 2018, and Mrs. India Himachal Pradesh 2018. Furthermore, uh, Mrs. Satvinder Kaur is also the poetess and author. She is a social media influence on Instagram and managing director of Cell Vision, a filmmaking company, and the honor of the Sophonic by the Satvinder Kaur, a luxurious custom shop beauty. Mrs. Kaur has been awarded as a Woman of the Millennium and Asia Pride Award, and she is also the National Coordinator of Anti-Corruption Foundation of India, National Advisor for Serv Dharma Ekta Abhiyan, and member of PETA of the People for Ethical Treatment for Animals. So on this virtual platform, uh, we all welcome you, ma'am. And I will just tell Dr. Akhil Sayyar, sir, to warm welcome our chief guest. Dr. Akhil Sayyar, sir. Thank you, Dr. Rajesh. I, on my personal behalf, on behalf of Parul Institute of Law and uh, Parul University, cordially welcome you, ma'am. Satsuri Kaal, once again. It's a very great pleasure that uh, uh, a gorgeous personality like you is on the uh, <laughs> virtual platform of the Parul University. It's a very great pleasure, ma'am. And the most important thing is that uh, you from uh, the fashion industry are, are here with the law faculty, and that is what is the hybridization we do have at Parul University. Ma'am, our university is established somewhere in 2015. It is actually a two decades old group of institutions converted into a university in 2015 by government of Gujarat uh, Private University Act, uh, Second Amendment uh, in 2015. And since then, uh, the law faculty has also been grown uh, vertically as well as horizontally. Today, uh, the university offers more than 250 courses and caters uh, nearly 30,000 students across uh, the students from the, across the world. Now, we do have the foreign national students from across nearly 50 countries and every uh, nook and corner of uh, uh, our own India. So, I welcome you, ma'am, as a uh, uh, icon of uh, india you have you hold so many titles but for me you are to see desh ki izzat ho aur yahi hamare liye kaafi hai that you have glittered the name of india uh, in britain country where uh, we were been uh, under the colonial state for a long period of time when we do have the same uh, colonial laws if I talk about the laws and a recent judgment on uh, the, about the haircut uh, by the National Commission uh, awarding nearly uh, two crore compensation where the barber made a wrong haircut uh, of a model. And that also includes that how much the, it is the judiciary which appreciates how much is the importance of the fashion and how much is the significance of person's look. So uh, when uh, Judiciary has this trend and there are a uh, number of uh, uh, other laws or related to intellectual property which couples uh, the fashion industry with the legal uh, fraternity. So I am very much uh, eager to listen your good self on this topic. I am uh, not of the man of a fashion industry but definitely I would like to uh, know about your industry and uh, uh, rest assured ma'am our as this uh, introduction will not be for one day. I would like to continue an association with your good self 
as you are also interested in chairperson of uh, PETA, that is People for uh, Ethical Treatment of Animals. We do work for the animal also and on 23rd of uh, October, we do have one international conference on the animal laws. So that is what is the beauty of Parul University that we do have all interdisciplinary interests. So I would welcome you on 23rd also uh, to speak on uh, uh, related to animal laws and how uh, uh, best ethical treatment can be uh, and uh, at least ek insaniyat dikhai ja sake pashuon ke saath mein it is very needed at this point of time not only to this animal laws but uh, for uh, your other organization also when you would like to get associated and we welcome you also that whenever you are here in india we uh, welcome you to visit our university it is ma'am it's a green lush campus uh, spreaded across 150 acre piece of land so uh, it's a very pleasant environment in the vadodara in the state of gujarat uh, i am sure that you would uh, enjoy uh, stay here at parul university uh, once again thank yes. you welcome ma'am yes sir yes sir now I will, uh, uh, on this platform, now I will hand, uh, handing this session on the topic on the contrast of the fashion law. So, ma'am, now this uh, session is handed to you. And at the last 10 minutes, ma'am, uh, the student will ask certain questions on the fashion law. So, they will put up to me and I will put up to you, ma'am. So, now the session is handing to you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much, Rajesh sir and Dr. Akhil Ali Sayed for the very kind introduction. I would request the moderator to kindly allow Shelvison to present the screen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can present. Okay. If you want to really know a woman, go shopping with her. Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion is in the sky. Fashion is in the water. Fashion is in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas that we live, what is happening. So today I will be speaking on the contour and trends of fashion law in India. Now, I won't be speaking from the perspective of a law expert as I'm not a lawyer. So my son is an advocate. So whatever little knowledge I have about law comes from the family. So I would differ from going into greater details concerning the intellectual property rights, such as a copyright, patent, and the trademark. Nor I would be speaking as an expert from fashion industry, as textile industry itself is a quite diverse and has its own commercial laws. My capacity would be of a stakeholder of fashion from pageantry and advertisement industry and as a social media influencer. I would be discussing about the ignorance which, which people are having about fashion law. What was just merely a functional need as it was called food shelter and clothing has now become a mode of self-expression and more negatively the mode of stratifying the society. What I understood about fashion from my childhood has quite a different connotation in the present time. Now the dimension of fashion is multifold and way too eccentric, distinctive and expressive from before. So many Indian designers are flourishing with really cool and stylish clothing, which is actually accessible to a general public. Coco Chanel had defined fashion as an art of an individual statement of expression for different generation. Fashion cannot be defined solely by our clothing, but it can also be conveyed the ways we carry ourselves and the personally we all have. Wikipedia defines a fashion law as a field relating to issues that arise throughout the life of an article of clothing or a fashion accessory. Is, it is a distinct field of law. In our country, despite so many popular names, 
which have come forward in the 21st century like ritu kumar masaba gupta sabya sachi mukherji manish malhotra abu jani and sandeep khosla have their names and tra- tra- trademark protected however we still managed to find the knock off on the first second and third copies as of these designer clothings like lehenga sarees gowns shirwani's kurtas now and then especially at the absurd discounted prices for example a red traditional sabasachi lehenga which is available for 5 lakhs has the same knock off which cost around 10000 rupees now i will discuss history of fashion law originally it was the, in the year 2008 susan skefia skefia id the law professor from usa for the first time offer a course in fashion law and after that this subject of fashion law has been recognized as an distincting field of law several americans as well as european schools have de- dedicated programs related to the fashion law but if we look to the other side we will find paris france as a the historical capital of fashion in the world fashion trend formed an important aspect in the french lifestyle in the 17th century the trend has also witnessed circulation of cheaper version of fabrics the changes were brought in the year 1920 when fashion was easier to copy and more accessible copying continued to be a, the biggest problem in the field of fashion the copyright extension find its roots in the english and french copyright system that protects the fashion designs however the patent law was not designed to protect the fashion and its culture designer needs a system to protect the designs before and after being made public because the copy design can impact the designer interest and therefore the need of fashion law evolved now under which law do we have protection as far as designer clothing and accessory is concerned it is not worthy to state that india has a proper legal network framework the fashion foundation of india a newly constituted body consisting of the leading designer from india seeks protection of the intellectual property rights from copying the intellectual property regime in india provides for the protection under the design act of 2000 the copyright act of 1957 and the geographical indication of goods act of 1999 aldo there seems to be three different different legislations and that protect the design of fashion apparel and design the artistic works in the sketches of the designs is protected under the copyright act of 1957 the design act of 2000 provides protection to the non functional aspect of object having visual appearance which include the features of shape configuration pattern composition of line the third schedule of the design rules of 2001 provides an exhaustive list of products and articles in respect of which an application can be made to the controller such a design right remains in force for the period of 10 years extendable to the certain condition for a total period of 15 years the recent changes in the fashion industry have drawn the attention from the intellectual point of view at the first sight time goes by and society is in constant development and growing needs the different jurist and scholars find the fashion law as one of the relevant domains creating intellectual property rights as the sole protector of fashion designs
the fashion companies must be aware of the different levels of protection granted to different articles and fashion trends. As far as problems are concerned, I have defined with the eight major problems which are also the recent trends in fashion law. Number one is lack of awareness. The problem in the fashion industry is that if the core design is copied, but the rest of the accompanying elements such as fabric used, the pattern of the garment, etc. are mutated. It can create the impression of the work being not copied, but it becomes difficult to seek remedies, the piracy under the ex existing legislations. Second is exploitation of small scale industries in India. A major component in the fashion industry is the tribal and handloom creators. However, the current method of safeguarding their interest is far from ideal. For example, the Fulkari design of Punjab are copied without giving due credit to the creativity to or economically benefit. Knock off and third point is knock off and plagiarism. Take the example of uh, a local Kanchiburam sarees whose work is copied by larger fashion houses and sold on the wider scale. Local handloom creators often lack the resources in secure IP protection. Additional for local creators, a small loss in income could result in the entire business shutting down because they cannot complete, compete the premium fashion houses. Hence, in a country like India, where tribal local handlooms exist in abundance and contribute to the fashion industry, there is a, an urgent need in holistic legislation that affords protection for their work not limited to the co right to exploit, but also a right that can be enforced in cases of piracy. Further, in India, street shopping in Sroji Nagar in Delhi or the linking road in Mumbai are largely popular. Every corner has knockoff. They are being sold on for one fourth or even less of the original. Instagram and Facebook stores have also popped up whereby luxury knockoff terms are sold at throwaway prices. With the volume of knockoff being produced, it is most almost uh, impossible to the file cases against the every knockoff. Moreover, even if litigation is concerned, it is a long drawn process that that takes years to conclude. Therefore, it is neither prismatic nor possible, possible for creator to pursue legal remedies against knockoffs. The COVID-19 pandemic has reduced the buying capacity of the consumer, which can easily boost the knockoff industry, are also sort of copies of the designs of luxury designers. Therefore, in order to reduce the impact of such likelihood, the penalty imposed should be increased to ensure protection of the rights of the original creators. Fourth point is lack of production to designer, an important characteristic of the fashion industry. Is its dynamics to stay afloat, it is necessary to keep up with constant, constantly changing trends. Hence, to be successful, every fashion house releases several lines of article in a year. Keeping that in mind, the requirement of registration under the current acts may become a problem because of how time consuming it is. The, the procedure of registration may take up to a few months, which far exceeds the shelf life of an article. In the absence of registration, no protection is offered and subsequently the danger of the creative work being exploited or worse, the creator not being able to exploit his work. It is in, the, in, in a manner chosen by the creator looms large. Five, fifth point is limited laws. 
the indian ip act provide protect merely some component of fashion for example the design act 2000 protects the registered designs and any person who claims to be the proprietor of any new or original design can apply for registration registration of such designs however as per the copyright act 1957 a design registration and copyright over an article cannot coexist neither the copyright law nor the design act provides complete protection to the players in the fashion industry the copyright act protects the original expression of an artistic work whereas the design act protects industri industrial application of that design even the punishments are less as a fine imposed for copying a designer article is at most 50,000 rupees. This gesture needs to be altered immediately as it undervalues fashion articles, especially luxury fashion articles. Six is influencer influence. Essentially, influencers are individuals who, via their content on social media platforms, impact the decision taken by their watchers. The latest marketing and brand promotion strategy adopted by brands in influencer marketing in such an agreement. The influencer receives products from the brand free of charge and promotes the product through various means. However, the role of influencer is not limited to product, uh, promoting the product itself, unlike earlier times where only celebrities would be brand ambassador for a particular brand taken sponsorship agreements new age influencers such as youtube creators are also signing on brand ambassador deals the new age marketing technique is not under the regulation of any formal law of rule however there have been certain regulations in there is an effort in to co incorporate these influencer in order to fix their liability but still several influencer manage to influence their audience strongly by promoting expensive products in the name of trend and fashion which is generally unethical since i'm also an influencer and uh, i consider it as my cardinal responsibility to promote genuine brands expressly state of branded and promoted content but and test the, the originality of brands before promoting any there is an urgent need to strengthen the legal ecosystem with respect to the fashion industry excuse me seventh is textile wastage Textile wastage is also one of the issues which is quietly prominent in the present time. It is not only the environmental issue as it amounts to air, water and noise pollution, but also so much textile waste is accumulated in the name of fashion and new trends. Such textiles should be recycled and donated to the needy. Eight point is uh, animal exploitation. People wear genuine leather or genuine fur in the name of fashion for which animals have to go through adverse level of cruel treatment, exploitation and death. The faux fur and faux leather should be promoted, which looks the feel like original fur and leather, but same is made out of their materials. In the place of original silk made of sil silk moths are art artificially made silk can be used. To conclude, I would bring your attention to the most correct trend of promoting fashion and keeping it alive. Even during the pandemic, which everyone is confined to the four walls of their room. The fashion industry has risen to the challenge in very unique and inventive ways and also remote photo shoots, self short portfolios, but has come to be popularly known as FaceTime shoots. Fashion shows through virtual reality, VR, 
and artificial intelligence, there is a way ahead of for fashion in the democratic country, that is India, for people to express themselves freely, even with their own unique way of fashion. At last, I would like to say, whatever you wear, wear with confidence. Thank you so much, everyone. Hello. Madam, I am audible. Yes, ma'am, I am audible. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, madam, you want to continue or uh, then I will give chance to our dean, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, I, actually, uh, uh, if dean, sir, uh, uh, thank, uh, it's good if dean, sir, speak on this. Uh, now, or, this or subject. you want to speak, we do not have any problem. If you want to speak for more time, we do not have any problem. Uh, no, sir, I, uh, I, I, I finished now. now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, actually, the screen is uh, still. No, actually, uh, it was really very fantastic. Uh, and we do have uh, some of the faculty from uh, um, Department of uh, uh, Fashion Studies also. Ma'am, yes. as I mentioned, we do have a group of. Uh, colleges and nearly 34 institutions and 17 faculties are there, which includes uh, um, uh, College of Interior Design, Fashion Design and uh, what not. I, I do not know much about that, but I, I request uh, uh, Dr. Palak Patel, ma'am, who is from Institute of Design. Uh, Palak, ma'am? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, very good morning me, to all. Yeah. Very good morning. Uh, let me introduce you. Uh, uh, you are you are already been uh, listening. Uh, I would say the way she is said here, uh, Her Highness Satinder Kaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, ma'am, uh, we would like to have your input on this uh, uh, from a fashion perspective, and then I uh, definitely I'll, uh, request Dhara, uh, madam, also because yes. this is actually your core area. May I request yeah. you to uh, kindly uh, uh, turn on your camera so that uh, our interaction becomes more live? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Dhara, ma'am. Because uh, by 11, I am uh, sure our Dean of uh, in, uh, Interior Design, uh, Dr. Prabhas Pandey, would also be joining us. OK. Uh, it was really a nice one that uh, in, uh, um, Ma'am has given us such a good uh, no input on Actually, the fashion law. Yes, ma'am. I have uh, stated as a lawman, you know, uh, I'm from the pageantry. <laughs> I'm not a law person. So okay. this is my perspective. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, the things that we, I just listened to the whole thing, whatever you have just told. Uh, but I, I have one question. Can I ask uh, that how uh, you can just throw light on it? That when we talk about artisans and craftsmen, that they are making uh, very beautiful and unique pieces together, right? Uh, like Kanjivaram sadis or Patola. So those weavers are very extinct and they do a very beautiful work. And there is, uh, it's their skill that they have came into. But uh, nowadays, people are creating knockoff. They are yes. copying the things. So how we can aware those artisans about this uh, fashion law, that is how they can uh, you know, uh, uh, say, how they can uh, create their own identity. They can just uh, say that, no, this is my design and this can't be copied. So how it can be protected? So a small uh, awareness given to the artist. Uh, arti uh, artists uh, and yeah. craftsmen through awareness camps and educations. Okay. And 
Yeah, there's so many, uh, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Instagram, you see there are so many Facebook posts, there are uh, designs of suits and design of sarees and so many products are there. So social media platform is, is the broad, you know, it's the broad way to promote our products. Na? So we can, uh, you know, use these platforms. Uh, this is my perspective because as I'm, I'm already telling uh, told that uh, uh, I'm not a law person. Uh, so from the pageantry, I jo uh, uh, information uske accordingly that is a, a good platform to you know uh, promote our our products. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would, yeah. I, would, I would like to add here, ma'am, uh, that we uh, from faculty of law also can extend uh, support and as in where you need, uh, we yes, can sir. organize the camp in the places where the artisans are working. Uh, yes. We can have one hour, uh, half an hour session or even one day workshop and we can just make uh, uh, awareness of this and yes, whatever sure, sir. Are their uh, languages, we can print uh, yeah. some material in vernacular language so that they can understand and if you can identify some of them, then as we are helping the other people for filing the patent, uh, yeah. we can also help them for uh, registering for hmm. uh, uh, registration yeah. design. So, uh, faculty of law yes, is ready yeah. for that. Uh, Dr. Akil Ali Sayed has said that we can patent our, you know, designs or patent. That is really, uh, I agree with this. So, uh, this is a, how, how can I, you, you can protect, uh, protect our designs from copying. Yeah, so they can be more unique and they are, you know, their model is also built up so that they can develop more designs and it's not yes. copied. So, yeah. yeah, so we can support them also. Sure, we will uh, have one workshop with such artisans. We will identify the, yeah, sure, sure. yeah. over to sir. No, we do have uh, Dhara Madam also. Uh, Dhara? Yes, yes. I was listening and I, am I audible clearly? Is it? Yes, you are audible. Yes, I'm audible. Yeah, okay. So, good morning, everyone. Yes, I wanted to ask the similar sort of question with Falak. I had the same question in my mind that, you know, these days we have, not these days particularly, we have like Chinese uh, knockoff, uh, you know, powering uh, the, you know, all the other countries. They have so much of the entire fashion marketplace is being picked up by them now right a lot of knockoffs a lot of counterfeits be it just the artisans when palak ma'am already artisans yes they are the ones who, who are losing on to a lot of uh, you know uh, substance when it comes to this when it comes to ipr uh, and uh, laws but you know this entire global marketplace that has been picked up be it online blurs or be it uh, you know e-commerce or be it uh, physical uh, stores which are supplying the knockoffs so how do we actually stop this and what what are the laws regarding the same also the question related to this only Akhil, i would want your suggestions as well since you uh, you know uh, and of you over here is from law faculty what is the scope of of law cases with respect to other case laws when it comes to you know this particular industry how do we see what is an average uh, of the same uh, you know chinese knockoff manager okay, i guess made in india scheme is uh, finding and protection Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Akhil Ali Sayed uh, uh, <laughs> uh, can answer this question because <laughs> uh, I, I would like to, uh, uh, sir, I would like to, if you give this answer, the, uh, give the answer of this question. I request you. Yeah, what exactly uh, Dara wants? You know, sir, that when, when should, it is about the Chinese knockoffs. Two now, yeah, there were two questions. So my first question, if if there is uh, this entire, uh, you know, uh, uh, overpowered through Chinese knockoffs, so what do we actually, you know, what, what laws do we need to actually protect the originality of uh, the manufacturing? Because when we go for IPR law, 
Uh, something which is patented or copyrighted in India, the law is different in China. The law is different in USA. So, how do we globally maintain this originality check? Right. So that was one thing. And second thing, when it comes to law, right. So when we are talking about fashion law, how do we? What is the scope of uh, students studying in fashion law? Like, what are the average cases that we get? from you know with respect to fashion industry as opposed to the case laws that exist in the judicial system uh, there are two things uh, one uh, which you said about the chinese knock off it's not only that whatever you have uh, registered in the country, territory of india is being protected within the territory of india only there is a WIPO that is World Intellectual mm -hmm. Property Organization and almost all, all the, countries, yes, yes. the countries are the signatory members uh, of uh, that WIPO. So anything which is being protected in one particular country definitely gets the uh, protection across the world. Uh, that is one thing. Second, you mentioned about the patent. Let me uh, uh, correct. Uh, it is not a patent. You can uh, protect your this such product, fashion product usually. Either uh, uh, with uh, uh, design mark or uh, a copyright. Uh, so there are uh, copyright. design and uh, copy. Uh, copyright could be uh, used for the protection of such uh, fashion uh, items. If you do have some material which you have uh, processed, mm -hmm. like uh, manufactured, then uh, usually uh, the patent has been for the manufactured item. Uh, 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 which is which has an industrial application. So here, uh, patent doesn't uh, been applicable yes. directly. So it's a, uh, either the design uh, protection under the Design Act or the Copyright Act. So once you uh, protected that uh, under Copyright Act in India, you have the protection across the world. And if Chinese, you, you, you come to know that someone is uh, replicating your product, then you can uh, sue them uh, in your country or in their country also. And uh, at least uh, when they are uh, in, uh, exporting and that uh, goods has been imported in India, you can stop there also and you can stop uh, the marketing also. Uh, so uh, this, this is how you uh, control uh, this malpractice. Uh, the second question which is related to the fashion law, let me tell you there is no any single law uh, uh, which has been named a fashion law. It's a group of, uh, uh, there are... Uh, uh, legislations which are uh, related to the fashion industry uh, as far as yeah. it is considered uh, mm -hmm. whatever the copyright or uh, design act uh, or uh, uh, immoral uh, representation uh, of women uh, that that is also uh, uh, related to the fashion industry that uh, you cannot project women in a, some uh, indecent manner so that also is the law and there are such n number of such laws uh, uh, magic remedies uh, Prevention of magic remedies, which uh, again related to the fashion and beauty and other things. Uh, number of uh, FS cases which we mentioned are nowadays are very few. That is not because the offenses are not there or uh, the uh, cause of actions are not being created, but as uh, uh, Madam Kaur uh, correctly mentioned, the people do not have the awareness about them. So even those uh, the offenses have been taken place or even mm. the victims are there, so they do not know that uh, yes, there is a remedy in the law. Uh, and that is what I was uh, mentioning in my uh, initial speech uh, that uh, it was IPC Moria uh, in Delhi where uh, uh, one of that uh, model went for the haircut or something that uh, beautification and uh, it was wrongly uh, cut mm -hmm. the hair. And considering uh, her uh, prestige, her reputation, her own value, the court estimated and uh, awarded the compensation of 2 crore rupees uh, to that victim and uh, the loss what victim has uh, in ordinary sense you can say, Are, galti se cut ho gaya, kya hai, uh, bal hai, phir se bad jayenge. No, it's not that. It's a legal harm. So one has to understand that this is not a bad thing. Or if you have a teacher, you can see that the teacher is not a person, but the industry is a person. So, this is my name. So, number one, that person has to understand. So, that awareness is to be brought among the people in the fashion industry. And definitely, I am sure that it's a great potential. If someone practices the law, fashion law, 
then it will be the responsibility of that individual or the students who are taking up this uh, fashion law. And I think your questions tempt me to introduce one uh, certificate course in fashion law. So I request uh, that, uh, that would that would be a great addition. That yeah. would be a great and, addition. And you know that we do have C continuing education program. So with CEP we can definitely introduce. Uh, and now we do have a uh, core madam yes. also. Uh, to mentor us for uh, this particular uh, branch of uh, knowledge. So, uh, with her uh, kind support, I'm sure we will uh, design. Dr. Rajesh, is going to note here that we will uh, introduce yes, a fashion law certificate course. Hmm? And uh, so, I would uh, like sir, to add in and present. Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, add an in present time. Fashion is not restricted to clothes, uh, but as Sayya Sir corrected, stated seeks protection of models and other persons. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. true. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Uh, it was uh, really a very fantastic. Uh, uh, madam, we have certain questions from our students, which I would like to put. Uh, put. Madam, if suppose a person who has a industry, his own industry, and now if suppose someone has manufacture the same types of we have copyright we have uh, various laws in our country but under which provision or under any uh, sequences which you can uh, just give us an idea that if suppose certain de designers are continuously repeatedly so sometime we have a provision of injunction that we can the court can grant the injunction okay in the cpc we have one, one injunction provision so can this provision if suppose some item which was manufactured in our country it will be manufactured again in some other countries so whether these laws are protecting that i know but from where from where these laws are to be taken in the foreign countries and how they can be protected is the question that whether these types of industries are being uh, continued if they are violating the laws so madam can you just uh, give a just uh, that if you have come across these ideas on that some factories were taken the uh, uh, injunction and they are stopped at that particular junction sir heavy fines are imposed as sir yes sir said uh, wipo gives protection okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am uh, now we have i do not think that we have any other questions so uh, if akhil sir will permit then uh, we will close the session dr akhil sir yes it was very good interaction i am very much happy uh, uh, to have uh, uh, mrs satvinder kaur here on our virtual platform and i am sure she would definitely make a visit also at parul university and that whatever the courses we are planning uh, with her mentorship uh inshallah we will introduce those courses also and i'm sure her support will be there for uh, our all this uh, interdisciplinary venture in the field of fashion law thank you ma'am thank you for sparing your valuable time and mai hindi mein kahunga ki hamari is virtual webinar par char chand lagane ke liye balki thank you sir mai bhi isme kuch kehna chahungi mai urdu mein kehna chahungi ki hum hum aapke hazar nakre bhi sahenge आपके अंदर वो अदा होनी चाहिए और अदा तो सर फैशन से ही आती है ना जो भी पहनिए कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ पहनिए तो आपके ऊपर अच्छा लगेगा क्योंकि एज ए प्रेजेंट्री पर्सन मैं यही कह सकती हूँ थैंक यू वेरी मच सर ओके मैम थैंक्स लॉट एंड वी आर वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू जितेन कुभानी सर एंड ब्रिजेश सर हुज गिवन दिस कवरेज एंड एंड आई एम ऑल्सो थैंकफुल टू पलक मैडम हुज ज्वाइन एंड धारा परमार मैडम and i am also thankful to our dean sir dr akhil sayya sir so on this note i am closing this session thank you and thank you for the day thanks a lot thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you all great day ahead